In Comsol Multiphysics, the model builder tree contains all the nodes which collectively formulate your simulation. In the settings for any of these nodes, this may include the use of parameters and or variables. As the number of parameters, variables, or their use throughout your modeling sequence increases, it can become difficult to keep track of where they are used, track where they are defined, and recall them for use in the settings for other nodes in your model. The autocomplete and find functionality enable you to easily do all of this. In this video, we will show you how to take advantage of these features in the software. Here we have open the laser heating wafer tutorial model, which can be found under the Windows button in the application libraries. So in this model, if we click the parameters node, you'll notice we have several parameters that are defined for use throughout the modeling sequence. We have parameters used for several of the functions defined for the model, for various aspects of the geometry, as well as parts of the physics definitions in our model. So let's say that we wanted to search one or more of these parameters and see exactly where they are being used in our modeling sequence. Well, we can do that by using the Find tool. Please note that the Find tool is located in the Quick Access Toolbar up here for the Windows version of the Comsol desktop. However, if you are using a Mac or Linux operating system, it will be located in the main toolbar of the Comsol desktop. You can also open this window by using the keyboard shortcut with the Control and F keys. So in the All tab, here we can search throughout the entire model, including any user interface components, variables, definitions, parameters, any aspect of the model. The Methods tab is geared for when coding methods in the application and model builders, and it enables you to search code in the method editor, as well as find and replace a text string in the method editor code. For more information on this, please see the Application Builder documentation. We'll be using the All tab, and let's say we wanted to search and see how many times our parameter R wafer is being used. So we enter that term, R underscore wafer, and you can see we have a few options which we can toggle on to match the terms we entered exactly to search a text string using the regular expression syntax, and to indicate if the search should be case sensitive. So we can click Find, and you will notice in our Messages Progress log window, we have a separate tab that pops up, Find Results, that provides us with a list of the results of where the parameter is used throughout our model. The table indicates to us the node the parameter is being used in, the type of node, as well as the text with which it appears. We can go ahead and double click on any of the rows in the table, and we are immediately brought to the settings window for the node in which the parameter is being used. So we can easily toggle back and forth between the different nodes the parameter is being used under. Let's go ahead and once again open the search window, and this time let's search emissivity and see how many times and where it's being used in our modeling sequence. So again, we can see that the former results for our R wafer search are still kept, and we have another tab for our new parameter search. And we can see it's used in quite a few areas. It's used in our parameters node, the heat flux boundary condition, as well as diffuse surface boundary condition. So please note that the find tool can not only be used in this capacity for looking up parameters and where they are used throughout the model, it can also be used for searching for variables or just any text in general and where it occurs throughout the entire model. Let's now move on to the auto completion feature. So as previously said, we have several parameters as well as functions defined for this model. And it can be really time consuming to have to 
refer back to the parameters table or any of the definitions nodes just to copy and paste the function name or any of the parameter names for use throughout the model. So this is where the auto completion feature really comes in handy. For example, let's say we were creating a new parameter. We'll name this parameter test underscore par. And let's say we wanted this parameter to give us the cross-sectional area of our wafer. Well, we could go ahead and use the auto completion feature straight away by pressing control and then the space bar. And this opens up this window through which we can access all of our definitions, as well as mathematical constants, functions, other math operators, and physical constants. All of this is also available through the autocomplete feature. So first, let's enter pi, because we want to use that. So I can go ahead and double click. And I'm going to multiply it by our R wafer parameter. Instead of having to copy and paste, I can simply press control space bar, go under global definitions, parameters, and select that. And then we can square it. And with that, we have the cross sectional area of the wafer. Let's say we were defining a variable. We can click local variables to open that window up. Again, let's give it an arbitrary name. We'll call this test underscore var. And in the expression field, we can press control space bar and that prompts and opens up the autocomplete window. Let's say I wanted to use one of the functions we defined. I can go under definitions, functions, and go ahead and add that function to it. Perhaps I also wanted to multiply and implement another definition, so I can press control spacebar again, access our functions or any of the parameters we would want, and you just simply go ahead and double click that. So in most cases, wherever you can enter an expression in the model, you can use this feature. So let's go ahead and use this autocomplete feature to very quickly create a boundary condition. So I go under physics, boundaries, add the heat flux boundary condition, assign it to the boundary in the graphics window, and under general inward heat flux. Once again, I can go ahead and press control space bar and start typing emissivity, from which we can easily just double click and select that. And then we'll want to multiply it by one of our functions, the analytic function we defined earlier. And with that, we very quickly defined a physics boundary condition for our simulation. So you can see how this feature very easily enables you to recall definitions for use in the settings for a node, input field, or table value. With that, we've showed you how to use the Find tool and Autocomplete feature in Comsol Multiphysics. These capabilities are especially useful when dealing with large and complex models, models that contain a large number of parameters or variables, identifying built-in parameters and variables associated with the separate nodes and interfaces, or even just for more efficiently formulating expressions in your model. Please note that these features are available in software versions 5.2a and up.